afternoon, Mrs. Drake. Is that all you've got to say to me? Well, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Riggs. I still can't pay the rent. Well, then, Mr. Lindbeck, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to vacate the premises today. If you don't, I'll take you to court. Well, I've been trying, Mrs. Riggs. You know that. It's just that things haven't been easy. I can't run this building on hard luck promises, Mr. Lindbeck. Don't you have any friends or relatives you could borrow some money from? Oh, yes, I've written my folks, but they haven't answered yet. Unless there's a letter for me today. You know the mail don't get here for another half hour yet. Anyway, you really don't expect anything in the mail. You don't talk like you do. My father doesn't have much. My mother's been sick. I really shouldn't ask him. You won't get any letter. Now, remember what I said. I expect you to vacate the premises today. Don't give me any more trouble than you've been giving me. Don't make me go to court and account of you. I won't, Mrs. Riggs. I'll try not to cause you any more trouble. Suicides this year than last, says County Coroner. Sleeping pills, gas, bullets are three most popular forms of self destruction. <laughs> Who's got a gun or even sleeping tab? Sleeping tablets. Maybe. Phone call for you. For me? That's what I said. Say, maybe it's about that job. I sure hope so. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Lundbeck speaking. Yes, Mr. Gross. Yes, I know you're with the employment agency. I've been waiting to hear from you. That's right, it was the Acme Metals Company. Yeah, I thought the personnel manager. Oh, that's what he said? I see, Mr. Gross. Well, thank you very much for calling me. Thank you. Goodbye. Well? No, I, I didn't get it. They took somebody else. And that settles it. You better go pack your things. Yeah. That settles it. I thought you might want it before you left. Just shove it under the door, Mrs. Riggs. Thank you very much. Advertisement. That's funny. Why should they be writing to me?
Dear sir, this is to inform you that since your gas bill has been overdue for two months, your gas has been turned off and will not be turned on again until the bill is paid in full. Sincerely yours, J.C. Higgins Auditor Gas Company. <laughs> what? what do you know? I can't even afford to die.